Dallas Jenkins was on a live stream on The Chosen's YouTube on Sunday, where he shared a new scene from season 4. This one might be the biggest scene we got from the fourth season so far, as it involves a heartbreaking and brutally honest conversation between Jesus and his disciples. Without further ado, I want to talk about what happens in this scene. Let's do a quick analysis. The scene in question is from episode 4. It takes place right after James and John, the Sons of Thunder, ask Jesus an important question. This question is actually from a pretty important passage in the Bible. The Gospel of Mark shows that while on their way to Jerusalem, the two brothers ask Jesus if they could sit beside him, one on his left side and one on his right, when Jesus began to rule his kingdom. In the new clip that we received, we see the immediate aftermath of the two brothers asking this question. While they think they asked an innocent question, Jesus is frustrated and gives a surprising response. In the clip, Jesus' reply in the case that he requests his disciples to share his suffering. Will they be able to drink the cup that he drinks? Will they be able to be baptized with the baptism that he is baptized? John and James answer without even giving a thought. They think they are ready and would do anything for Jesus. But even their question shows that they have different expectations about the future. They think the kingdom of Jesus will take place on this earth. Understanding that James and John don't even know what they're talking about, Jesus tells them about what will happen in the future. He says, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of the Gentiles, who will mock him, spit on him, flog him, and kill him. You can see from the faces of the disciples that they are shocked. Jesus even tells them about the resurrection, but they cannot believe it. They don't understand. Jesus then tells them they are not ready to drink from his cup. It is not his to grant who would sit beside his right or left hand. Here is where, just like what happens in the gospel, the other disciples get angry at James and John for asking that question. They argue about position and power, proving once again that they are not ready for what Jesus requires. At one point, we learn that Jesus had granted Simon his new name, which apparently caused some jealousy in the group, which further infuriates Jesus. He says the disciples are thinking like the Gentiles, and he reminds of them the importance of having a servant-like mentality. They should be servants. They should be slaves instead of thinking about their position in the kingdom of God because even Jesus was sent here to serve others. He came to give his life as a ransom for many, which is a reference to a line in the Gospel of Matthew. And the disciples, even Simon, don't understand who Jesus is referring to when he says many. They don't understand that he will sacrifice his life for the immense multitude of humanity, for all. All human beings are ransomed and saved by him. We can see that Jesus is once again disappointed by his disciples' reaction. He's even crying, which is always so emotional to see. He then orders everyone to continue their journey to Jerusalem, but he won't be joining them soon. He will catch up later, which makes me think he wants to give them space to think about what he said. The scene ends as all the disciples leave and Jesus looks up at the sky with teary eyes. Overall, this scene reflects James and John's failure to understand Jesus' message and their focus on their own reward and power. They do know that Jesus is the Messiah, but they still want to see him to be a great king in the same way as a king of a country. Sitting beside Jesus in this kingdom would bring them privilege and prestige. But Jesus' message is not about being privileged. For him, a true leader should know how to be a servant first, and the disciples are not in this mindset yet. Servants or slaves usually got no reward for what they did. Their service did not bring them any power, honor, or privilege. The disciples should take on a similar mindset and be ready to give their all. This might be my favorite scene from season 4 so far. If you want to learn about the other scenes that have been released, I'll put the links for those videos at the end of my video. How did you enjoy this one? How do you interpret this scene? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more videos like this. See you soon.